All right, what's good, good folks? Uh, it's Lee Property G. I got another one for y'all. Uh, it's kind of later, well, later than I usually do them, but it's all good. We're going to get it done. Uh, what I got for y'all tonight is Z for Zen, not for sleep. 10.15 p.m. 8.21.15. Z for Zen, not for sleep. 10.15 what is that? Uh, August 21st, 2015. Uh, they actually have a variety of meanings. Uh, I'll give you one. Z for Zen, not for sleep, can subliminally mean uh, programming. Uh, you know, when you see Z, Z is for zebra. You know what I'm saying? So... Just that off the top, like, this, this is a man fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, Z for Zen, you know what I'm saying? Z for Zodiac, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Z for Zion, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, this is Z can just be simply, this, this quote can just be simply about programming itself. Like, uh, you can change your programming, you can be more creative, you can be more willing to... Uh, Explore the uh, different and many facets of the mind. Just with this one letter Z. Uh, Z also symbolizes the word sleep in American culture. And probably some other cultures. So, uh, Z does not mean that in my, uh, in my vocabulary. So, um, yeah, Z for Zen, not for sleep. Um, thoughts, knowledge, information can be misconstrued. It can be uh, perceived differently. It can be viewed from different perspectives. It can be understood in a variety of ways. And I think this quote right here is perfect to exemplify that. So I'll say that one more time before I get out y'all way. Z for Zen, not for sleep. 10.15 p.m. 8.21.2015? I think so. All right, good folks.